Yamuna dancers, jointing hearts and building powerful relationships. Professionally managed over the last few decades, today Yamuna Densons has evolved into a one-stop shop providing 360 degree solutions through an exhaustive range of cable jointing accessories. We develop and manufacture as per customer specifications various jointing systems and accessories including engineered products like power cable jointing kits, fiberglass products, heat shrinkable accessories, bus bar insulating sleeve and shroud at joints, cold shrink accessories etc. under the now popular brand name Densons. The state of the art equipment and machineries complemented by a vibrant quality consciousness have imparted a high degree of superiority in the products which have elicited preference for Yamuna Denson's products amongst the power industry leaders. Yamuna Denson's cold shrinkable straight through joint for three core XLPE insulated cables with armor tape offers several advantages stress control, insulation for tracking protection, environmental seal, and ease of installation. These are quick and convenient to install and have proven to be most reliable and cost effective performers. Procedure for preparation of the cables Align the two cables and cut off the surplus portion, leaving an overlapping portion of 100 mm in length. Check the cable's ends and ensure these are free of moisture and defects. On the left side cable or the longer end, measure and mark 820 mm from the cable end. From the edge of the 820 mm mark, measure and mark 110 mm as the length of the armor towards the cable end. Cut and remove the outer sheath and the armor from this mark. Mark 10 mm from the armor edge for the inner sheath and remove the remaining inner sheath. On the right side cable or the shorter end, measure and mark a length of 500 mm from the edge of the cable end. From this mark, measure and mark a length of 110 mm as the armor length towards the cable end ring cut and remove the outer sheath and armor from this mark. Mark a length of 10 mm from the armor edge for inner sheath and remove the remaining. Now both the cable ends are equally prepared. At this stage remove the fillers and space out the cores. On the left side cable or the longer side, measure and mark a length of 265 mm and remove the metal foil. Repeat the same process on all the cores. From the edge of the metal foil, mark a length of 80 mm towards the cable end and remove the semiconducting screen to reveal the XLPE insulation. Smoothen the exposed XLPE insulation with the three grades of alloxite emery tape as provided in the kit to prevent discharge. Measure a length of 85 mm from the cable end and cut the XLPE insulation to expose the conductor. Repeat the same process for the right side cable or the shorter side. Now both the cable ends are at the same stage. Slide the cold shrinkable joint body over one of the cores on the left side cable or the longer side and join the conductors with a ferrule and crimp with the help of a crimping tool. Clean the surface of the XLPE insulation and ferrule with a clean cloth 
soaked with the cleaning fluid supplied along with the kit. Remove the release paper from the semiconducting tape and wrap it around the ferrule. Do not use too much of this filler. The final diameter should be only slightly greater than the ferrule diameter. Apply semiconducting tape at the cut end of insulation screen, ensuring that it overlaps 5 mm on semiconducting and 10 mm on the XLPE insulation. Apply silicon grease on XLPE insulation and stress control mastic. Do not use this grease in excess. Insert the cold shrinkable sleeves on the other cores of the left side or longer side cable and repeat the process. Slide the cold shrinkable joint body over the connector, ensuring that it is placed exactly at the center and the end of the joint body placed over the semiconducting screen on both sides of the joint. Pull the sustain tube slowly counterclockwise to shrink the joint. One end of the joint should align with the marking of shrink positioning. Wrap semiconducting tape around the end of the cold shrink joint body. Wrap two layers of copper woven flexible mesh with 50% overlap around the joint area. Continue for 20 mm over the shield on both sides. Fix the copper mesh tape on the metallic shielding with the help of spring clamps or copper binding wire. Cut along the 110 mm armor mark on both sides as marked earlier and reveal the armor. Lift the armor wires and slide the backup ring underneath. Place the copper braid over the armor, overlapping for about 30 mm on both sides. Hold it at both ends with the help of Jubilee clamps. Wrap a layer of waterproof tape from the inner sheath to inner sheath of the cable with 50% overlap. Wrap armor tape over the complete joint with 50% overlap. Now, the cold shrinkable straight through joint for 3 core XLPE insulated cables with armor tape is complete.